Looks can be deceiving when it comes to these MCs. Each one of them hides a power in him that is more powerful than each in its own right. That's why for today, we'll be talking about the top 10 anime where the badass MC pretends to be weak, but is OP. So, before we begin, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet, and press that bell icon to stay updated of all the new content we're creating. And beware for the following spoilers. 10. Hagure Yusha no Estetica This main character can single-handedly put down all isekai characters and fight with one hand tied behind his back. Yeah, he is that powerful and has a wide variety of destructive skills that can literally end the world if he so wishes it. However, he's a chill hero and is working on the good guy's side. Thank God, he'll do anything to protect his so-called sister. 9. Majutsushi, Orphan, Hagure Tobi I'm gonna be frank here with you guys. As someone that watched the original, I was excited to discover that there was a remake for it. However, watching the remake, my smile suddenly turned into a frown as I suffered through watching this show, cringing so hard throughout. As a remake, this show is boring, bland, and all over the place trying to have a plot, but even failing at that, and the animation wasn't even that good either. Honestly, save yourselves the time and brain cells lost. Just go watch the original. It's way better and more fun than this abomination. 8. Kakumeki Valvrave in a world where even space, the final frontier, was colonized by humans, three major powers reigned supreme. The Atlantic Rim United States, ARUS, Dorsia Military Pact Federation, and Japan, and Islands of the Ocean Republic, J-I-O-R, with the latter taking a rather neutral position. Our story begins with the 17-year-old student Haruto Tokishima and how his life took a 180-degree turn when the Dorsia forces invaded the neutral area of J-I-O-R in search for armored mechanized weapons called Valve Rafe that are coincidentally hidden in the MC's school. What later happens is that the MC so conveniently stumbles on one of those valve raves, enters a pact with it, and rides it to fight back the invasion and protect his friends. Playing hero in short. 7. Kamitachi Nihiro Wareta Otoko Welcome to one of the most wholesome isekai anime out there. This anime is so cute and adorable it will make you go like aww and how cute half the time. This anime will single-handedly uplift your mood and make you binge watch it completely. Even though the premise of the show is somewhat childish, it was still fun to watch it and I enjoyed every moment that had Ryoma in the frame. Like any isekai, it starts off with the MC's death and reincarnation. Ryoma reincarnates, thanks to the grace of three deities, into a new world filled with magic and powers that he gained. What does he do? He enjoys his time and lives it to the fullest after being exploited in a low-wage job and dying of work exhaustion. It's time for him to live a little and have fun, something I personally related to at the time. 6. Kumo Desuga Nanika So, I'm a Spider, So What? is an action anime with lots of comedy. And there's also a lot of unsolved mysteries that add layers to the plot. Life is going on normally. Nothing seems off. A tragedy happens and everyone in school dies. The school kids are reincarnated into a new world as nobles and princes. But our main character is reincarnated as a spider. In this game world, she must defeat monsters and level up, as that's the only way for her to live a better life. 5. Hero Man Studio Bones did an awesome job in this anime. The 26-episode action sci-fi tells the story of a bullied young boy rising up to the occasion and saving humanity from destruction at the hands of the brutal aliens. Joseph Carter Joey Jones lives in California. He's from a poor family and has an obsession with robots. One day he discovers a destroyed Habo robot and takes it home. The young man repairs it and names the robot Hero Man. I dare say the robot really lived up to its name when the aliens invaded California. An unlikely event brings a robot to life and Joey is able to to control it to battle the invaders with superpowers. 
for Kyokara Mao. Well, that's a new one, even for me for that matter. I mean, I've seen over the years multiple methods and ways a person was isekai to another world, but to be sucked head first through a bathroom seat? Yeah, that definitely is a new one. As he arrives to the foreign new world, he's greeted with sticks and stones thrown at him, and people talking a language that he can't decipher for the life of him. Next thing he knows, he meets two individuals, one with magical powers that he uses on him to help him understand everyone around him. As if that wasn't a hectic first day enough for the MC, he later is taken to a castle and said to be its ruler as the new demon lord. With such a great responsibility comes far greater consequences to the point that it makes the butterfly effect seem like a joke. Three, Princess Connect Redive Another action anime set in a game world. A man named Yuki falls from the sky having no memory of his past life. Yuki gets acquainted with the elf named Kokoro, the battle-skilled Pickerine, and the magical girl Carol. Together, this group explores the strange world, taking on monsters, exploring the lands, and also trying to fix Yuki's missing memory. Two, the God of High School. Action, action, and more action. That's all the first season of God of High School is about. The anime perfectly blends martial arts with supernatural powers, throwing us into a sinister world where martial arts reign supreme and strength is the difference between life and death. The Crunchyroll original is produced by MAPPA and aired in 2020, wowing fans with a lot of amazing fights. Jean Mo Ri, Ru Mi Ra, and Han Dae Wee are the central characters here, and their unrivaled strengths are a joy to behold. Beyond all these action lies a dark plot waiting to break out. One, Densetsu no Yusha no Densetsu. He is the user of the Alpha Stigma eyes. The eyes said to be equivalent to the calamity and death, especially if you take in note the fact that those eyes drove everyone that ever had them to complete madness and ended up killing them. All but one, that is. This character is the only one that was able to use its powers without the precautions of falling mad or being destroyed by it. He is the first ever to survive and reach adulthood with those pair of eyes. In fact, his case is so rare he became a legend that brought fear and terror into his enemy's hearts just by existing. Now that is one hell of a a powerful MC, don't you think, guys? And with this, we conclude our video. If you enjoyed this list, I want you to smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon to keep you notified of all our new videos. Also, comment down below on the anime you liked the most on this list, and if you're planning to watch any of them. And if you have any suggestions, place them in the comments as well. Until next time, see ya!